Pastor Isaiah why? Pastor Isaiah Mu why? Pastor Isaiah Mu why? Away. Hmm? Away, Pastor Isaiah Mu. I, ha I have issue with one of my sister. You understand? The way that my sister treated me. I ask her one question. I said, the way you treat me now, they go treat your own son like that. That's the simple question I asked my sister. I said, the way you are treating me now, they go treat your son like that. Pastor, why? Pastor Ezeyamu, why? Why can't you, oh, the, the hand when you take care of your children, why can't you use it to carry other people's children, pastor? And you call yourself a pastor. I've said it. The biggest problem we have in Nigeria are pastors. Are pastors. Let me go into the topic. The Bible said, the heart of men are desperately wicked. The heart of men are desperately wicked. Pastor, why? Let me quote a guy, Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass said, Knowledge make a man unfit to be a slave. Knowledge make a man unfit to be a slave. You understand me? Pastor, you pack a do youth. The day you ask, you pack over 50 a do youth. You are telling them that education is not important. You are telling them that they should be speaking the Benin language is good. Say na na uh, na Germany na Benin language that they speak for Germany. France na Pastor, are you serious? Are you see at the same time? I didn't know. The only I, I saw you, Pastor, when you went to America to, to celebrate the graduation of your of your daughter. Okay, people are saying to me now because I, I, I was reading some comments. They said that your daughter went graduate. Give her to Akpakomiza because Akpakomiza never married. Give her that your daughter. Okay? You send your daughter to America, to one of the best schools in the world. But you are telling other people's children, over 50 youths, say education is not important. Say me that they speak beneath. Not only, I didn't even know. Nana, I even find and say, you even have your own son in Canada going to university, your son. How we are. Eh? They go do you. How we are. See, my principle is what I don't feel do myself or my children, I don't feel do unto another man. That is my principle. But you, a pastor, you are telling other people's children no need for education. Whereas all your children are abroad studying. Do, do, do you know I'm, I went to college here? The time I went, I'm talking about 2007 now. They were paying, an international student were paying close to 10,000 euros. I don't know. That is over 30 million. I, I, now, today morning, maybe over 30 million. Not to talk about education in America is very expensive. I know a lot of America, which I even went to school with, a lot of America uh, 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 citizens that are coming to Ireland to study because they, they said education is very expensive in America. Even in Canada, pastor will cut money, carry children. The son of Canada, the daughter just graduated in university. And you are telling I don't youth, over 50 youth in your house. Say me they forget about education. How we are. They go do you. Hmm? How we are, pastor. They go do you. This is the reason. Why, you see, no, especially pastors, not even politicians. This guy is a politician and a pastor. And he's a desperate man. Go and watch my video I did about him. This is a man... That change from a pastor to, a, to an imam. You say education is not important. You see, this is the plan. This is the plan of the elite, especially this someone like Pastor Osaze Osa Jamu for Edo State. Is to make sure that the poor people children not go school. So that the poor people children not go know their right or their left. So that their whole children, their whole children will find it easy to rule over poor people children. 
my people, this one good. Is it good? Now I say me, I can't talk for you. I saw that video and I've seen the reaction. People, ah, pastor, ah, where is it good? Why are you telling the poor people's children? Over 50 people. When you say me, they start adult education. Say that you will personally sponsor it. You are you are you are you are very rich. When you say me they start adult ed education, may they learn skill, may they learn something. You say me they forget about education. Ah, no wonder say, no wonder adult uh, trouble uh, trouble. They say you they carry a uh, Bible for daytime, you they carry AK forty seven for night. Eko we we baby, your 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 mind is too dark. Anybody that can tell another man children say education is not good. Education is bad. But at the same time, all the children that abroad they study in in, in in one in some of the most expensive universities in the world. That is wickedness. Now I say me, I can't talk. Pastor, change your way. And I they tell voter now. These are the the mindset of the kind of people when they APC. See the person where they go break at the commissar. These are their mindset. If they enter, they will enjoy. Uh, like they will empty a uh, don't treasury to do their own personal interest. That's what they want to use the money to do. Okay, will talk Ah, pastor, I will, I will, I. What you know? Say they know if you do your own children. Why you they do it to other people? Now I say me, I can't talk this evening with my people. I say me, I quit drop that one. Pastor, pastor, pastor. February, February. When he a Bible, you one and I don't first talk out. See the other pastor now, they say he don't come out for Nigeria altogether. He don't move to UK. I don't know the one, whether they, they call that one. The same pastor, okay, pastor go use their mouth, tell you, say, if they sick, may come me, they may they pray for you, but if they're they sick, though they come abroad for medical uh, treatment, though they take medicine, but they tell you, make you not take any treatment. You understand? I saw a pastor, I think in South Africa, they tell people to they eat grass. You understand? They go to eat grass. I've been an apostle Suleiman. When go tell you say that God be your security, that God go provide security for you. But Apostle Suleiman, they use private car. Sorry, bulletproof car, not private car, bulletproof car. When God not the enter. We find out the other day. See, Mokuna, even person when not go to school, you know, God still give you a common sense. Mokuna child, I am Mokuna using a common sense. Pastor Ezari Yamu was talking to over 50 youths. And he was telling them that education is not important. All those ones, I waited to go tell their children. They'll say that to the carry AK 47. Now, 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 I'll life. Now, they important. Say education not they important. Okay? Before the assertion of God, we know Baseki. And don't you, they talk, say, e -e 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 education is a scam. Education is a scam. Since all Baseki, don't they work, don't they use the brain, they design a donor. Which I don't use, don't come to say education is a scam. You know, they, because the, the narrative are changing. Obaseki have made it that any adult youth, any adult graduate from any university of, in Nigeria with first class is getting direct employment in adult civil service. This is a matter that encourages edu education. This is a matter that wants us to develop as a people. The people like, like Pastor Jose Yamu and his cronies, they don't want any good for us. I'm just telling you now. For you to open your mouth, you, you, didn't, you didn't know that... Uh, uh, Chris Obas will leak that video for you to open your mouth. They tell poor men, children over 50 when come to your house. You say, May they not go to school, education is not important. But you are sending your children to, to the most expensive and the best university across the world. Now, God will judge you. Now, God will judge you. Bye bye for now.